Hey, it's Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching. Welcome back to another Whiteboard Wednesday. Now today, I have a question that I'm going to answer. What makes a successful athlete? I'm going to give you my five top key points that separates those people that can achieve their goals, achieve their success, and those that always struggle and battle through never reaching their full potential. Now before we take a look at that, make sure you hit the subscribe button over here. You're going to get notifications every single time I upload a new YouTube video so you don't miss out on anything. So hit that button now and now let's go take a look what makes a successful athlete. actually makes a successful athlete. Now when I talk about successful, I'm not talking about being the champion or number one, I'm talking about achieving the goal that that person sets. Now whether that goal be is to break a PB or whether it be to be world champion, it requires some of the same things. And what I've got for you today is some thoughts that I've collected over the last 10 years I've been working with athletes right from beginner to elite and one thing that always floats to the top for me the difference between a good athlete and a very successful great athlete is mindset so five things the first thing is those that are successful aren't afraid to try or fail they're not afraid to go in front up to a race they may have never done it before but you'll see successful athletes just, okay, I'm going to go do this race, and they go and do it. They're not afraid. They're not thinking, oh, what are people going to think of me? They're not afraid that they're not going to do well. They're just there. They're not afraid to try. They're not afraid to fail. Second one is that they're open to new ideas and for help. They're not stuck in this way of thinking. If I suggest you know, a different training method to an athlete, some of them will go, mm, no, it's too too out there, it's not what all of my other training partners are doing, I'm not going to do it. They're probably just going to keep going along as they were. Successful athletes, they'll take that new concept and they'll go, right, let's do it. Let's make it work, let's give it a try. They're not afraid of new ideas and they're not afraid of asking for help when they need it. The third, I always notice this, if an injury pops up, if they have to head away for work or for travel, they make the most of any setbacks in their training. They don't let these setbacks derail their training. They make the most of them. We have a meeting. How can we capitalize on these setbacks? How can we, you know, if you've got a if you've got a lower body injury, what can we do with the upper body? If you've got a wrist injury, what can we do to work around that? These setbacks don't get in the way of those successful athletes. They work around them and they keep their focus on their goal. The fourth is commitment. Now this is really interesting, if a person comes into my office and I've got this goal, I can almost tell straight away whether or not they're going to achieve it or not, based off, off, off their commitment to it, and also their, their outside life. A lot of successful athletes are also very successful in other parts of their life, and if I get, say, a successful business person come to me, and they have a goal of achieving a physical goal as a race or a personal best or whatever it might be, those people have this unbelievably large commitment to whatever they do, whether it be sport, business, family, whatever it is. And those people tend to be more successful than others because they have this commitment. They commit 100% to what they do. And the final one is habits. I've noticed that successful athletes usually have very ingrained habits. They get up, they bang, 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 do these things. And their training, their monitoring of their training, their nutrition, their stretching, their foam rolling, their body maintenance, all becomes part of their habits. It's not something that they you know, grind away at doing. It's just what they do. So there you have it, the top five mindset points that I see in most successful athletes. Some athletes will have all of these, some will have more, some will have just a few. But if you're serious about improving your performance and achieving your goals, take a look at these. 
Are you afraid to try? Are you afraid to fail? Do you try new ideas? Do you ask for help? Do you make the most of setbacks when they encounter you or they do you let them derail you? Are you committed to your goal? And have you set up successful habits in your day-to-day -day life? So make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button in the middle of the page over here. If you want to find out why chocolate milk is an extremely good recovery food, click the video up the top. If you want to learn how to improve your VO2 max and anaerobic threshold, click this video down the bottom here. Get out there, train harder, but most importantly, train smarter.